Hey guys, what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Woo! It has been a long time since I've said that. I am back. I'm ready to be filming and getting everything started again. So this is going to be like a chatty clean out video. I have not done makeup makeup. <laughs> in at least six months like not even on my face normally okay i haven't worn foundation in almost a year so this baby has got to get cleaned out before i can get back to filming my makeup videos because most of the shit is expired so i have so many foundations that have just been sitting so we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna kind of chat first things first this is a brand new set i got for mother's day um they're not beauty blenders they're beauty sponges the only difference really is truly the brand name so I'm going to keep that. I have some stuff here that my uncle gave to my daughter on her birthday that she won't use. She doesn't use like setting sprays and stuff. And it's unopened, so I'll be keeping that. This one is the Calorie Surf Proof Setting Spray Clean, Hydrating, and Long Wear. And I'm going to put... I have to make two piles. I have to... You're going to hear a lot of throwing. So just be okay. Don't freak out. And then I have an Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting, one of my favorite unopened. So I'm gonna keep anything unopened. I might keep, even if it's like a foundation, just because it's unopened, right? 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 Probably not. And then a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've actually, there's dust. <laughs> Oh God, I was so nervous about filming again because like I've been wanting to film, but like I didn't know how to come back and just be like, hey guys, I know that like I kind of shut down and was gone but you know life happens um these are just some eyelor lashes i'm gonna keep things happen we all get used lashes they're gonna they're gonna go but you know for the most part you guys have been keeping up with me um some of you on instagram snapchat and on youtube so you know it's really good to see those people who do follow and subscribe to you kind of just like check up on you especially when you go mia like i did but you know, if you're not new here, then you know that I winded up or ended up in the process of a divorce. Our divorce will be fine on November 14th. It has been a year since my ex has been here. Custody, it just, it was just, honestly, I just feel like, I don't know. I'm not even sad about it anymore, which is crazy because if you look at this video right here, I'll pin it. I was, I was in such a place that like the thought of the divorce and all that kind of like really made me sad. And now like I've just moved past that. I'm in the healing process and I want to get back to the stuff that I love to do and filming YouTube videos is one of them. This is actually one of my favorite primers, but it's going to go. It's, it's been in there for a while. Another favorite. I'm pretty certain this is discolored. It's not the green that it always is. It looks like mucky. I don't even know that I could get rid of this. This was so expensive and I only used it like twice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one. What I'll do is I'll probably use them throughout um, and not on camera just in case my face breaks out and go from there. But stuff that I know that's like, that's, that's old. Like the milk makeup one is super old. This one is another newer one. It is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer. So I'm going to keep that one. These are super old. I have the e.l.f. Luminous. I got that like two Christmases ago in a little bundle thing. So I know that's old. The Revlon one I got in PR. That one is also old. It's like a putty primer. This is empty. <laughs> The Jelly Pop, the e.l.f. Dew Primer. It's just like the Milk Makeup one, but it is more affordable. And then they have the Mint Melt. This was when the Mint Collection launched, if you guys remember that. I'll put it here. I'm pretty sure, certain I did a video on it. Um, it's gonna go. It's old. My Jaclyn Hill Eye Primer. This is the eye primer. Yeah, Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is actually one of my favorite products. And I mean, it's almost empty. I think I have another one unopened. Please let this be the empty one. I think, yeah, oh. Yeah, that's disgusting. It's it's growing stuff on it. Do you see that? <laughs> that's disgusting. It's going. Uh, NYX glitter primer. That's gonna go. My hourglass veil primer. I'm actually gonna keep that because I got that recently. The milk makeup hydro grip eye primer. I don't remember even if I liked or disliked this but it's gonna go because it's old. An LA Girl lip primer, goodbye. Um, Morphe eye primer is actually one of my favorite eye primers and it's very inexpensive, but it's gonna go. I am gonna keep this P. Louise base in black. I only used it one time and I'm just not okay throwing this one away. Or the prep, uh, 
Eye Prep Eye Prime by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna keep it. This is the Pretty Vulgar. That's actually extremely old. Okay, so then we have a P. Louise White Base. I'm gonna keep. I have an Hourglass Foundation. Why is it in my primer? It hasn't been opened, so I will be keeping this one, and it is in the shade Beige. This is actually one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foundations. Um, I have another one in here and unfortunately it is opened so I will have to throw it out because it's pretty old but I have one in its place. All right, I don't know what the spatula is but it looks gross. I'm also gonna take the bins out because <laughs> they should probably be cleaned. It's just, you should just see. Look at this. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. That's okay. death. So I have some ABH lashes. I will probably be giving these away. I actually wasn't the biggest fan of these lashes at all. They were way too big, way too uh, thick. Revolution concealer, which I really enjoy, but it was given to me in PR way too long. This isn't even opened. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out because it looks like it's like doing some weird weird funky shit in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it. Which kind of makes me sad. Oh. I think my daughter might have used this one. Oh, send help. SOS. Disgusting. My KKW Beauty Concealer. Oh, nope. She stinks. This isn't even a brand anymore. My Tarte Shape Tape. This will not be thrown away. It has not been opened, so she's staying. Kylie Jenner, goodbye. Uh, Rem Beauty. I think I'm gonna keep this because I bought it and like literally only swatched it and this was this year, like the beginning of this year. It's the concealer. The concealer was all over TikTok. I had to have it. Pretty Fresh, that's old from ColourPop. Natasha Denona. Like, just look at that. Fucking disgusting. Uh, Fenty Beauty, honestly, <laughs> This concealer was not my favorite. Oh, it's an eye brightener. I just wasn't a big fan of the applicator. It's fucking weird as shit. It's like this little ball. So you could like dot it, but like, I don't know. It was weird, but she's gone. My clothes are super big. I have lost, <laughs> I've literally lost almost, I think it's a little over 30 pounds now since last September. So uh, my clothes are like, I'm trying to, I don't want to buy anymore because I'm still in the process of losing weight, but I can see like how big my shirt is. I mean like awesome, right? So this is the Hydra Stay Naked Urban Decay Hydromaniac. This foundation was fucking awful. I don't know why I kept it, um, but it's old. We have the Morphe Glow Stunner. It's actually a good foundation. The e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, also good, gonna go. The Glow Wish by Huda multi -Doo. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know if I like this, I don't remember. I'll have to look through my videos. We have a milk makeup foundation stick. I'm actually gonna keep that because I just got this one from TJ Maxx literally in January. Another foundation stick that I got in January from TJ Maxx was Benefit Cosmetics. So I'm gonna keep her. If I got it this year, I'm gonna keep it. Another Benefit just in a darker shade so I can mix and match. Um, I only plan on doing for the first couple of months one video a week just to give me some time because <laughs> Your girl started school back up, so I am in my graduate program getting my master's in criminal justice management. Just a little update on how I'm doing and why. That's part of the reason why I've kind of been gone. It's just school has, I just finished my midterms. I passed both of them. So I was like, you know what? I want to film and I'm going to film. Just stick to like one video a week for right now, just because I don't want to overwhelm myself. And then what happens when you overwhelm yourself? You stop completely. I don't want to do that. This is the Pretty Vulgar Foundation. It is so beautiful. And honestly, I only kept it for the packaging because this foundation was not great at all. So we're gonna throw her out. We're gonna say goodbye. A Dragon Beauty Color Correcting Concealer. I'll probably buy another one of these because I really do like it. Another PR item I got was Merit Beauty Foundation Stick and I did just get this this year. I'm gonna keep this, but I did get this in PR. Um, I just, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. Not very good makeup reviewer. I'm gonna keep this. This is my favorite foundation is the Lancome Tint Adore Ultra Wear. I don't fucking know some fancy French word. And this is a newer one. The older one I actually already threw away. Huda Beauty, one of my favorite foundations. I think one of them is super fragranted. Oh, one of hers was super fragranted. Oh, yep, it is this one. I loved the texture of that foundation and the coverage. It like made my skin, because I have such dry skin, it made it feel so like, just so like good. Like it was matte almost, but kind of like, like a dewy finish. I don't know how to explain it. It was just really nice. The ABH foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. 
It literally looks like there's water in there. This foundation wasn't so great anyways, so. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That's not just empty, that's separation. It is separated. This is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This foundation is old. If I crack the fucking foundation on my carpet, I'm gonna kick my own ass. Essence, pretty natural. I got this from Ulta, it's like two bucks, but it's not worth keeping. Bobby Brown, not the Bobby Brown. Oh girl, you old though. I think I got this from TJ Maxx recently. Like, I wanna tell myself that, you know? Because like, this is such a good foundation. I'm gonna keep her. Don't judge me, I'm keeping her. If it winds up breaking my skin out, I'll just throw it out. Um, this is my Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus. This is quite old. Uh, I had this about a year or so before I stopped filming, so that would make it about two years old. And honestly, this is probably my number one foundation out of drugstore. It's $6.99 unless it's gone up in price because let's be honest, every fucking thing else has. It's usually only like $6.99 though. So if that's the case, no big deal. I'm just gonna buy a new one. Here's another one I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. This is the Vanish Seamless Foundation. It's another really good foundation, but this is oh, so expensive. I probably won't rebuy it. It is really nice, but there are so many other alternatives that are so much more inexpensive. Like we love you hourglass but not in not in this household <laughs> not anymore um, the nars this is the light reflecting foundation this is actually a newer one i think i also got this one in january i did like a little haul or something or maybe it was december let me let me smell it no it smells weird <laughs> Smells weird. So I'm gonna get rid of her. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this one again because I really did like this foundation. Very expensive, very bougie, but like, I really, really like that one. And then our Studio Fix, like y'all know. Y'all know what it is. It's, it's okay. It's an okay foundation. I'm really sad to actually be getting rid of this, but this is super old. This is the Auric Glow Lust um, Radiant Luminizer. I actually did use this a lot under my foundations. It's a nice texture. It's a nice coverage. It gives you very dewy looking skin. This is... Samantha Raven dolls? Raven something. Ravenclaw? Nope, that's Harry Potter. I don't know. Sam somebody. She's a YouTuber, makes this or made this. So I'm gonna have to look and see if you guys know. Let me know down below if she still has her brand, if it's up and running. I I haven't really looked at any makeup buying in so long. I mean, I think the last thing I bought was like the EOS lip balm. <laughs> another LA girl I'm gonna get rid of. Another Dragon Beauty color corrector I'm gonna get rid of. Color corrector. This is a Revolution Conceal and Fix. Like, look at that. I literally have not even touched this. I'm gonna keep this one because this is like not even, it's literally not even touched. This is gonna make me sad because they don't even make this anymore. <laughs> This is the Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector that went wild crazy all over TikTok. This is medium to deep. And then this one is light to medium. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna keep these. This is the Becca Backlight Targeted. This is the Under Eye and Peach. And I will also be keeping this one. I thought I'd be getting rid of a lot more. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this I'm gonna be getting rid of. It's actually not that old. This is the Jones Road, the Scandal. The, oh my God, that's disgusting. This foundation was either loved or hated and 90% of people hated it. It was like the worst foundation ever. It stinks real bad, but I think it stunk when I bought it. So I used it one time for a video. Okay. This is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I'll be keeping, I'm probably gonna keep most of these. They're in a bottle. This one I'm gonna throw away because it's broken. It's been broken since I got it. This is the One Size Preserve, Preserve the Serve by Patrick Starr. This is the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. I like it, but it's going. And we have some Magnet, Makeup Magnet Mist by Pop Beauty. This one's open, this one's not. So I'm gonna throw away the open one. This is the Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing. And I actually use this still like currently you get a little shank and i sprayed on my bare skin i don't just use this on foundations lancome fix it and forget it i'm gonna keep that tart maracuja miracle mist i'm gonna throw that out morphe continuous setting spray i think i'm gonna keep this one tried and true 
MAC Prep and Prime. It's almost gone, so I'm gonna throw it out, but like, this is so old, the bottle is discolored. Um, Morphe Luminous Setting Spray, I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. I didn't care for it that much. It wasn't terrible, wasn't great. Catrice Cosmetics, I don't even know why I bought this. This is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting. Oh, um, I'm actually gonna keep this. It has what looks like shimmer, so like a highlighter at the bottom. Pixie is another one that I got from ER. This one's pretty old, like old, old, even before I stopped doing makeup old. So you can get this at Target or anything like that. It's really nice if you want dewy looking skin. This is the Porefessional Super Setter by Benefit. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've never used this. There we go. I'm also gonna keep this because I just now used it for the first time. Um, and then we have another continuous setting spray. This is literally the same thing. It was just in a limited edition packaging, but I'm gonna throw it out because it has no lid. Hey, here's some powders. I'll probably keep most of my powders because like I said, powders, eyeshadows and all that last much longer. Yes, I am well aware that there are still expiration dates on the bottom of these. This says 12 months. Don't come for me. I know. I'm educated on the makeup. I'm just choosing not to get rid of it. This is the KKW Beauty Setting Powder. I actually am a big fan. I believe this is translucent or beige. It's one. It's somewhere in between translucent and beige. My favorite powder, but I am gonna get rid of this one. Um, this is the Milk Makeup, like this is literally top tier favorite powder. But it has a net here, and this is why I'm gonna get rid of it. I would put my beauty blenders in here, like damp with foundation and stuff, already on it to set. So I can only imagine that it probably made its own family of bacteria on there. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Power Magic Under Eye. I'm also gonna keep this one because it is a sifting one. These are the Quad Setting Powder Palettes. I don't fucking know what they're called. Brightening and Setting Palette. And then I have the other one in Medium, which is just darker for like summertime. Not getting rid of this. I think I have one in there. Just kidding. I might have gotten rid of it. I don't know. But this is my Dragon Beauty setting powder and it is literally, I guess I replaced it. Maybe I got rid of my old one because this one is barely used and the one I had, this was almost gone. I think this is my new one. Yeah, because I don't have my new one in here. So this is my new one. Um, so I'm definitely not going to get rid of it. That means that this one was recently opened. The Kendall by Kylie Cosmetic little situation. This basically gets rid of like the oil and it does. And if this sponge didn't scare the living shit out of me with what could be living on it. Um, I would show you because of that dewiness I put on. It is actually a really good product, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because uh, the sponge. I don't like sponges, so. This is the Brightening Light Banana. This is the other Jaclyn Cosmetics product that I really, really like, and I'm gonna keep it because it has a sifter. It's just a setting powder. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder or Baking Powder or whatever. It also has that mesh lining, um, that soft, like, cushiony lining, so... I'm gonna go ahead, and this one's pretty scented too, I think, um, and get rid of this one and get a new one. Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Look, we have a replacement. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer is one of my favorite. It's a good foundation for when you don't wanna wear foundation, but you need to wear foundation. Um, weddings, work, I'd say the gym, but like, why would you? I guess if you wear fucking makeup to the gym, you can wear it there. Somewhere where like you want very light, refreshing coverage. Um, I really enjoy this one. Okay, we have some unopened makeup items. <gasps> So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Under Eye Brightening, Cooling, Prep and Hydrating Primer. Untouched. Un- oh, I just opened it. Fuck. Untouched. Unopens. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. We have a NYX lip gloss Unopens. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. It's their plumpy one. But I just put in my lip glosses. I don't know why it was down here. I have three Kylie Jenner concealers. Maple, Pine Nut, and sand. I think that the reason I have these is because she was doing that closing. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. That closing, these have never been opened, but look at this. She was doing that closing because her shit closed down too, just like KKW Beauty. I'm not gonna keep any of these, even though they're unused. It's so wasteful, but well, this one doesn't look too bad. Let's give it a smell. Nope, it smells bad. It smells bad. If you want to know whether your concealer or foundation are bad, um, smell them. 
they give off a very very chemically like strong smell yeah Ugh. it smells like paint thinner basically is what i get out of it that is disgusting did i leave that like that i think my daughter did that i think madison did that either way it's going i don't know i'll have to go through this I just wanted to kind of get through like the quick like foundation part with you guys because that was my biggest like I have to get rid of that before I can start doing makeup videos. So I still have a few. I still have a few. So I'll be able to do some videos with those until I can replenish my collection. But I honestly do not think that I'm going to I'm not going to buy as much as I did because looking at this, I'm just so ashamed of the waste that I've created and just money like this is hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars sitting on my floor about to be thrown out. So you just kind of put things in perspective. Now, of course, I only bought this amount of stuff because I was doing YouTube for so long. So it's not like I'm a normal consumer, um, if you will, a normal consumer, because I do this for work, you know? Um, but I think that I still need to kind of watch how much I'm buying when it comes to makeup and consuming because this is just so much waste. But lessons, we learn them, we move forward and we do better. I think I'm gonna do my lipsticks next. It probably won't be the next video, but like the next clean out thing I do is gonna be my lipsticks. Um, That's gonna be really hard because if y'all, <laughs> if you're not new, you look, I'm already shaking. I love lipstick. Like that's my favorite type of makeup product is lip products, lip liners, lipsticks, lip glosses, and I hoard them. Like they're going out of business every last brand. So I'm gonna need to go through and just gut it because the, some of the lipsticks are like older than my youtube channel okay honestly i did get rid of some of my belt i sold them um i sold a massive bundle to a friend of mine um for his girlfriend so i mean like i'm talking like a sh ton now that i'm looking when i clear this out i'll show you like a picture of my collection before like all my abh those massive palettes they're gone a lot of my kylie cosmetics palettes they're gone i mean i can see like empty racks and before like there was there was no empty racks all right guys i'm super fucking hot because my hair is so thick and down I have to clean up my room i'm not gonna lie to you guys i don't know if it's because i'm getting old l probably but my look at the back of my thighs do this weird shit where they fucking sweat i swear and like I'm sticking to my computer chair with <laughs> my sweaty legs. I'm like sliding, like sliding off of it. I'm gonna go because I'm fucking hot. I missed you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys aren't too upset with me for being gone. Um, unfortunately, there are times in our lives that it just, we don't have any control and we do what we can and we hang on for the ride and the ride has come to a stop and here the fuck I am. So I missed you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you're new and you're watching this, thanks. Thanks for watching it. Thanks for sticking around because I'm crazy and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I hope you subscribe before you leave. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And as always, guys, make sure to give me some love in the comments and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.